The Path to Healthy Love Number 1. The Relationship Scorecard. What exactly is it? When someone you're dating continues to blame you for prior mistakes, you're experiencing the keeping score phenomena. If both lovers in the relationship act in this way, the relationship turn into what I refer to as the relationship scorecard, where each lover competes to see who has messed up the most over the course of the relationship's months or years, and as a result, who owes the other the most. Imagine a couple who are in a poor relationship fighting in the shadows. You were a jerk at Cynthia's 28th birthday party in 2010, and it has ruined your life ever since. Why? Because you are constantly reminded of it every week. But that's okay, since catching your girlfriend texting seductive text messages to a coworker means you can get back at her for her alleged adultery, so it's kind of equal, right? Wrong. Reasons why it is toxic. The relationship scorecard is an absolute shambles on two fronts. You're not only ignoring the current issue by dwelling on past wrongs, but you're also instilling guilt and bitterness from the past in order to manipulate your lover into feeling horrible in the present. If this continues long enough, instead than addressing the root causes of the current problem, both lovers eventually devote the majority of their time attempting to establish which of them is less responsible than the other. Instead of attempting to be more correct for one another, people spend their entire day attempting to be less incorrect for one another. Instead, try the following. If the two problems aren't actually related, deal with them separately. If someone consistently cheats, this is clearly a recurring issue. However, there is no connection between the fact that she made you feel uncomfortable in 2010 and the fact that she became depressed and disregarded you today, so don't bring it up. It is critical to remember that when you choose to be with your lover, you are also choosing to remain with all of their previous actions and habits. If you do not accept those, you are eventually rejecting your relationship. You ought to have taken care of something a year ago if it upsets you so much at the time. Curious to unravel the full story and gain valuable insights? Don't miss out. Click here to watch the entire video and embark on this transformative journey with us.